two, three, four, five. Once I got a fish alive, why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. So, how are you, great tools? It's your teacher, Anansiata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, we have been doing these numbers in grade one. We learned the numbers, we counted forward, we counted backwards, and here again we are. Counting forward and backwards in ones. Is that something to give us trouble? Look at our class. Who can read for me the numbers that are in our class? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, I've been told by my mommy to count forward in ones. What does the word forward mean? We talked about when we are moving. We move in how many directions? In PE, we did movement. And we said we can move in the forward direction, in the backward direction, and in the sideways direction. And do you remember when we were in the field? Which direction did we move very fast? Which direction did we move very fast? We are moving in the forward direction very, very fast. Why? Who can tell me why did we move in the forward direction very fast? We moved in the forward direction very fast. Why? Because we are able to see where we are going. In fact, I am running and I'm seeing where I'm going. I'm going. But when I'm coming back, I am more cautious because I might fall. I am not seeing where I am going. So we are saying forward is front. Backward is back. Are we together? So we are being told the numbers here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. When you move from number 1 to 10, you are able to see where you are going. So you are likely to move very fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10. Why? Because you are likely to see where we are going. But now I am moving backward. In the backward direction, I might not move very fast. Why? Because I am not seeing where I am going. One, seven. So we say 10 to 9. This is 8, 7, then. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same too if I'm given a number like 23, 24, 25, dash, dash, dash. When I look at my numbers, I am increasing. When I add 1 plus 3, I get a 4. When I add a 4 plus 1, I get a 5. And when I add a 5 plus 1, I get a 6. So my next number will be 26. When I add a 6 plus 1, it will be 27. When I add a 7 plus 1, I'm getting a 28. What if I've been given like this? And I'm told, fill in the missing numbers. What am I supposed to look at? Look at the flow of your numbers. Could we say 37, 36, 30? No. Which means this is counting backwards. So when we are counting, we are reducing the number by 1. So 7 take away 1 gives us 6. 6 take away 1 gives us 5. 5 take away 1 gives us 4. What about 4 take away 1? 4 take away 1 will give us 3. And what of 3 take away 1? 3 take away 1 will give us 2. So our missing numbers will be 33 and 32. Remember what we did. 1 more, 1 less. This is exactly what is being done here again. Now, during your own free time, I want people to fill in the missing numbers. They are saying 
fill in the gaps fill in the gaps and the gaps here are number one says fill in the gaps and we have here 18 19 20 and you're filling in the gaps the second one says 34 33 32 then you're filling in the gaps the next one says 48 49 50 and you fill in the missing numbers i hope that one won't give you any trouble and we have 73 74 75 76 remember to use our number chart the one we used to count one to a hundred and you ask yourself where i am i am at 18 so am i moving forward or backward i am moving forward so i count on 18 19 20 then 21 and 22 for this one ask yourself where am i i am at 34 am i counting forward or backward i am counting backward so i start reducing 34 33 32 31 and i arrived at 30 and up to there you will have counted forward and backward in once any problem up to there any question who feels like sh she needs more practice on this very good hope to see you in the next lesson thank you very much